Hello viewers, welcome to my channel PMCE. In this video, we are going to do Mental Math and Subtraction Worksheet in Class 5. Mental Math sums are the sums that does not involve pen and paper and children could work out the sums mentally and give the answers. In Subtraction Worksheet, I have included all the topics that children have learned so far in Class 5 Subtraction. Subtraction is one of the mathematical operations on numbers. Let us go into the details of this video now. Subtract 3,50,699 from 5,83,674. Both these numbers are six digit numbers, so write them one below the other. Write their place values and begin the subtraction from the ones place. 4 minus 9 cannot be done because 4 is lesser than 9. So you borrow from the tens place where you have 7 tens which can be regrouped as 6 tens plus 10 ones. So 7 tens will now become 6 tens. When you give 10 ones to the ones place where you already have 4 ones, 4 ones plus 10 ones will give you 14 ones. So now you have 14 minus 9 in the ones place which is 5. Next 6 minus 9 in the tens place cannot be done. So you move to the hundreds place and Regroup six hundreds, which can be regrouped as five hundreds plus ten tens. So six hundreds will become five hundreds, and six tens plus ten tens will become sixteen tens. So sixteen minus nine in the tens place will give you seven. Next, coming to the hundreds place, five minus six cannot be done. So you borrow from the thousands place where you have three thousands. Three thousands can be regrouped as two thousands plus ten hundreds. So when you give 10 hundreds to the hundreds place, 5 hundreds plus 10 hundreds will become 15 hundreds. So 15 minus 6 in the hundreds place will give you 9. Next in the thousands place, it is 2 minus 0, 2. In 10 thousands place, 8 minus 5 is 3. And in the lakhs place, 5 minus 3 is 2. So the answer is 2,32,975. I have dealt with this topic, subtraction of large numbers by regrouping in a separate video. Link to that video is given below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us do the next sum. Subtract 4,32,479 from 6 lakhs by easier method. I have covered sums like this also in my video. The link to that video is also given below in the description box. You may refer that. Now, let me tell you how to do this. To do subtraction like this by a easier method, you should minus both the numbers by 1. When you subtract 6 lakh minus 1, you will get 5 lakh 99,999. When you subtract 4 lakh 32,479 minus 1, you will get 4,32,478. This type of subtraction becomes easier rather than having numbers which have zeros where there will be more of borrowing. When you will have numbers with full zeros and just a single digit number, then you can apply this method where you subtract one from both the numbers and do the subtraction easily. So now begin the subtraction from the ones place. 9 minus 8 is 1. 9 minus 7 in tens place is 2. Next, 9 minus 4 is 5. 9 minus 2 is 7. 9 minus 3 is 6. And 5 minus 4 is 1. So, you saw how easily we have done the subtraction. And the answer is 1,67,521. Let us move on to the next sum. Subtract and check your answer by addition. 4,53,675 minus... 62,724. This is also a separate topic and I have dealt with this topic also in a separate video where I have more number of examples for you. The link to that video is also given below in the description box. Now let us write down the bigger number. Write its place value so that you can write down the smaller number at its appropriate place. Begin the subtraction from the ones place. 5 minus 4 is 1. 7 minus 2 is 5. 6 minus 7 cannot be done because 6 is lesser than 7. So you move on to the thousands place. So 3 thousands will become 2 thousands and 6 hundreds will become 16 hundreds. 16 minus 7 in the hundreds place will give you 9. 2 minus 2 in the thousands place is 0. 
In 10,000's place, 5 minus 6 cannot be done because 5 is lesser than 6. So you move on to the lakhs place and borrow from there. 4 lakhs will become 3 lakhs. 5 10,000 will become 15 10,000. 15 minus 6 in 10,000 place is 9. And in lakhs place, you take and write down the 3 just like that. So what is the answer now? 3,90,951. Next step is you will have to check your answer is correct by the addition method. What do you do? You add this answer that you get to the smaller number which is 62,724. When you perform this addition operation, you should get the bigger number 4,53,675. Let us see if that is happening. So begin the addition from the ones place. 1 plus 4 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7, 9 plus 7 is 16, 6 carry over 1, 1 plus 0 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3, 9 plus 6 is 15, so 5 carry over 1, 1 plus 3 is 4, so the answer is 4,53,675 which is your bigger number which means that the subtraction that you have done is correct. Hope it is clear so far. Let us next move on to the topic of Profit and loss. This is a very important topic and I am going to give you a lot of formulas and examples for this topic. The first condition here is selling price is greater than cost price. What will happen? The transaction will result in a profit or loss? Profit. Okay. And what is the formula for profit? Profit is equal to dash minus dash. What is the answer? Selling price minus cost price. The next condition is cost price is greater than the selling price. So the transaction will result in loss. Loss is equal to dash minus selling price. The answer is cost price. The next condition is overhead cost is given. What will be the total cost price? Total cost price is equal to cost price plus dash. What is the answer? Cost price plus overheads will give you the total cost price. Next condition. Cost price and profit are given. How will you find the selling price? Selling price is equal to dash plus dash. What is the answer? Cost price plus profit. The next condition is cost price and loss are given. What will be the selling price? Selling price will be equal to dash minus dash cost price minus loss the next scenario is selling price and profit are given so how do you find the cost price cost price is equal to dash minus profit what is the answer selling price minus profit will give you the cost price when the selling price and profit are given selling price and loss are given then how will you find the cost price? Cost price is equal to selling price plus dash. The answer is loss. Dear viewers, children will be able to do such activities only if they are thorough with the formulas for profit and loss. I have dealt with profit and loss as a separate topic with ample examples for you to understand. Please refer that video. I have given the link to that video also below in the description box and also in the iCard section. Let us do some more examples. Here we have a table where I am going to give you the cost price, overheads. You will have to find the total cost price and the selling price will be given. Next, you will have to decide if the transaction is a profit or a loss. These are all different ideas that I am giving you by, by which you can test the understanding of the children on a particular concept. Cost price is rupees 30 and 75 paise. Overhead cost is 0. What will be the total cost price? Yes, it is the same rupees 30, 75. That is 30 rupees 75 paise. Selling price is 35 rupees 75 paise. Is this transaction resulting in a profit or loss? How will you decide? In this case, we see that selling price is greater than cost price. If selling price is greater than cost price, the transaction will result in profit. Next. Cost price is rupees 125. There are no overhead costs. And then the total cost price will become the same rupees 125. Selling price is rupees 110. In this case, 
selling price is lesser than cost price or the cost price is greater than the selling price. Such transaction results in a loss. Next, rupees 40 is the cost price. Overhead cost is 20. Total cost price is rupees 60. Selling price is rupees 75. Transaction is a profit or a loss. Selling price is greater than cost price. So, the transaction results in a profit. Hope you found this activity interesting. Next, we are going to go the mental math sums. So, stay with me till the end of this video to do such interesting sums. 754 plus 16 is equal to, how will you do this? 754 plus 20 minus 4. So, 754 plus 20 is 774. 774 minus 4 is 770. Next sum, 2061 plus 9. This can be done as plus 10 minus 1. So, 2061 plus 10 is 2071, 2071 minus 1 is 2070. Next, cost price is rupees 1190, profit is rupees 100. What is the selling price? This sum can be mentally done. 1190 plus 100 is 1290. Next sum, selling price is rupees 3585, profit is rupees 100. What is the cost price? 3485 that is 3585 minus 100 which is 3485. Dear viewers, all these sums can be done mentally only if the children are thorough with the concepts. Next, if 6,37,126 minus 1,23,456 is equal to 5,13,670, which of the following is true? Which is the correct answer? Yes. 6,37,126 minus 5,13,670 is equal to 1,23,456 is the correct answer. Because if you take this number, this side before the equal to, it will become minus and this one when it goes after the equal to, it becomes a plus. Next sum. There will neither be a profit or a loss when selling price is lesser than cost price, selling price is greater than cost price, selling price is equal to cost price or all of these. Yes, when selling price is equal to cost price, there will neither be a profit or a loss. Next sum. Which of these can be called as overhead costs? Repair cost, transport cost, both 1 and 2 or neither 1 or 2. Yes, both repair cost and transport cost are overhead costs. This is a very interesting sum. If asterisk minus 3 is equal to 25, what is asterisk plus 2? What minus 3 is 25? 28. So, 28 plus 2 is? 30. So, 30 is the correct answer. 100 minus asterisk results in a number less than 70. What could be that number? You could give such tricky sums to make the children think. 7, 10, 40, 20. So, what is the answer here? 40 because 100 minus 40 is 60 which is lesser than 70. When you take the other options, you will not get an answer which is less than 70. Dear viewers, these are all the learning outcome in class 5 under the topic subtraction of which I have covered all the first four topics in separate videos. In this video, we saw mental math and subtraction worksheet. With this, we complete class 5 subtraction all the topics and links to each of these videos are given below in the description box for your quick and easy access. From the next video, I will be topic, starting with the topic of multiplication. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next video with the topic on multiplication. So do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button to get regular notifications of all the new videos that I make in my channel. See you again.